sentenced to the maximum punishment for killing a woman, but the family of Lisa Hastings still isn't fighting for their daughter. Nine on your side reporter Kendall Harold live in our newsroom with the story you'll see only on nine. Well, Brian, just hours ago, Dennis Alsip was sentenced to eight years in prison for killing a 22 year old woman in a car crash last year. Now, that's the maximum sentence for an aggravated vehicular homicide charge. And during the emotional sentencing, the victim's mother made sure Alsip understood what he did. You did this to her. And when you were asked, do you know what you just did? And you said, no. This is what you did. The courtroom was filled with friends and family of Lisa Hastine wearing matching shirts in support of the young victim. Her mother, Karen Hastine, brought the poster sized photos like the one you just saw of her daughter before and after the crash, showing what Alsip did to Lisa. Now, Alsip did read a short letter apologizing for the crash, but Hastine's family repeatedly said in court today the 20 year old had no remorse. I wish whatever prison you go to, the most violent prisoner there hates you too, and that you're scared of him every day. I wish you hate prison and you want out. I wish you do things that get you more time so you can stay there forever because society doesn't need you. I wish Judge Allen would say to me, there he is, do whatever you want. I would kill you. You killed my daughter. Police say Alsip was under the influence of drugs and alcohol when he lost control of his car on State Route 128 last July. Lisa's mother is still calling for tougher punishment in aggravated vehicular homicide cases. She wants longer sentences than what the current law allows. Kendall Harold, 9 on your side, live in the newsroom.